Hey there, welcome back to MI Tesla Guy. Today I've got another quick review for you on a Tesla accessory. In this case, it is the wireless charger from Magback. So let's get right into it and take a look. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, great, what we need, another review of yet another wireless charger or phone holder or whatever. But I think this one is worth it. You may have seen my previous review of another option. Uh, I will link to that in description below and up here somewhere. But the Magback one did come very highly recommended to me by a few friends, and I probably wouldn't have bought it without their recommendations, but I did. So let's uh, get in and take a look at it, and then I can kind of give you my thoughts on pros and cons. So here's the box that it comes in. Nice picture on the front, little diagram on the back, and we will get in there and see what we got. We got a little extra sticky thing over here. We've got the instructions. Um, I'm not going to show the whole thing, but I will undo it here real quick and just show it to you. It's pretty simple. And then we've got the charger itself and the cord. And then we've got the alcohol pad, which we'll use shortly. And we've got the 12 volt plug to power it. And there's nothing underneath that tray. So we'll start by opening up the alcohol uh, pad here. And we're going to clean off that corner that's going to attach to. Get it nice and clean. And then we're going to test it out. I didn't take the sticky thing off yet because I want to make sure it fits well. So now I will take it off because it fit just fine. And then you put it on here and you hold it for, I'd say a good 20, 30 seconds. And I don't think it's ever coming off now because <laughs> it's on there pretty, pretty well. And then uh, I'll just show you here for a second what it looks like after it's attached. And this is how I wrote, ran the cable. Um, I want to get it done a little bit better, but this part where you go underneath this console right here, and along this edge, that's actually the easiest part. Um, I've done that a couple times with other things. Just run it along here, go up into the center console and you'll plug it into the 12 volt and that'll get you your power. So this is kind of what it looks like when it closed. Um, I don't know that it totally works how I want it to, but this is a view of what it looks like with my phone up there. And this is a really strong magnet. Um, I actually have the Magback case as well. Uh, this will show you what it looks like with landscape and it is strong. There's no way this thing is coming off of there while I'm driving, um, not even on the biggest bump. So that's kind of what I'm looking at, at maybe like chin height. And what I wanna do is actually, I'm gonna bring the camera up here in just a second. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from my eye level. And this is what I'm looking at. And you can see it cuts off probably a good third of that bottom left. And I typically, when I take a trip, will drive with that on landscape because I feel I actually get to see more. So that's what this looks like. So there you go. That's the uh, unboxing and getting it installed and everything, kind of showing you what it looks like when you're using it from my eye level. Now, keep in mind, everybody, I'm sure, adjusts their seat and their steering wheel and everything like that differently. So it might look a little bit different to you. Now, these are currently on their website as of the date I'm recording this, showing as $99. I will say I do think it is worth it. That is my own opinion. And maybe it isn't worth $99 to you, but it is to me. And the main reason for that is how strong the magnet is and that it charges pretty quickly. I did find in a lot of the ones that adjust over time, they tend to wear out, but the way this one mounts, it is stuck on and it is stuck on very, very well. It's very, very strong, holds the phone up there really, really well. And with a large phone, like a iPhone Pro Max size, you really need that that strong magnet. There is that drawback that it does cut off part of the screen depending on how you want to orient it. And of course, if you put it landscape, it's going to block the speedometer. Those are considerations that that might be more important to you uh, than it is to me. It is definitely a premium product and I think it delivers on, on that premium price. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please throw me a like, a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, about this Magback wireless charger or some other ones maybe that you try, please drop that in the comments down below. I uh, love chatting with you down there and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.